Resident Evil. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way.
There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Jill, help me look for him, but let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. 
Got it? Okay.
Oh god, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it.
Hello? Hello? Yeah, um, yep, yeah, seems like we've just had... Uh, so, just done 34 minutes of the stream without a microphone there, so I do apologise about that. There is some technical... Obviously, that's your massive technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> this is really annoying, because I, I was giving some really nice Resident Evil anecdotes, which I'm going to have to repeat now. Uh, brilliant. But, um, yeah, so we're doing quite well, I think. Um, as I was about to say, uh, as I was saying to myself, and no one else, it seems... Uh, we need to burn these zombies because uh, if you don't burn the zombies, um, <laughs> uh, it's no problem, Django. Obviously, I I should have like looked at my levels before I started recording to see that things were coming up. Uh, look at that! It's another another instance of um, no sound getting recorded on OBS. So definitely make sure you always check your settings on OBS. I've learned it and uh, believe. Uh, Django learned it as well earlier on. Our D and D uh, session didn't have the sound recorded thanks to OBS. Right, so we're going to burn this one. And we got lucky with the other one, um, as I'm sure you saw on the stream, where uh, his head popped, which is a possibility. So now he's burnt. He's not going to come back as a crimson head, which is very useful. Uh, now, now I'll get rid of the mouse cursor again. Uh, we can. Wait for this guy to come along. Oh, wait for him to be sick. Oh, you need to lay off the booze, my friend. Uh, we're going to pop this back in the... In fact, we can pop that back as well, because we won't need that yet. And I am going to take the shotgun, um, just because I might want to use it for something. Oh shit! Oh my god, that absolutely scared the shit out of me. I got very complacent. I was too busy reading the chat. Oh my word. Oh. That was... <laughs> oh wow. Um... Yeah, that caught me off guard. Yeah. Okay, I know that there's another zombie here. But we don't need to worry about him. Use the sword key. Yeah, it definitely does. It, it, the crimson head thing. I'll Barry. shut for a sec. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Alright then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow <laughs> those things. Barry is so it's yours. Cringe. Hopefully you won't have to use it. A can of fizz. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Right then. Don't know if I can actually go in this door. Yet. Nope. I need the armor key for that one. So that's where we'll get the grenade launcher to use those grenade rounds that Barry so lovingly gave to us. Oh shit, he's very close. I did not realise he was that close to that statue and I nearly got attacked. What we need to do is coax him around here, because then um, I can push, because I'll need to push that statue off the balcony to get something. Come on then. Come on, ugly. Yeah. Oh, 
and it's off. He's coming around this way. So I'll we'll head around that way. Also, I've uh, oh, used a start key again. I've got a brand new microphone to the, not microphone, brand new control to it. Uh, so if we're doing well, it's because of this brand new controller. If we're doing shit, it's because of the brand new controller. Yeah. Um, just a cheap one. Uh, so we've got the dog whistle, and we had a picture that showed you this area. So. Blow the dog whistle. Get some distance. Alright, because the dog is very annoying. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. No, it's not. Oh, shit, it's not dead. Right, that's one. Sorry, duck. Shoot the dog. And that's two. We didn't actually take much damage there, so that's good. And I didn't have to use my shotgun, which I thought I would do. I have used two defensive items now, though, which is a bit of a bummer, but you can't always rely on those anyway. So we're going to take that dog collar. And let's have a look at it. Is a switch. Will you push it? Of course I will. Coin was hidden inside the collar. It changed into the shape of a key. Shape of a key lacks the rigidity to be used as one. Green herbs. There's only enough for a few uses. We use them now. Bit of a waste, I know, but we. Temp we generally won't be coming back here too much. I'm going to discard that. Okay, so there's a zombie there. Right, and there he is, throwing up on the stairs, as you do. There's that guy outside here. Looks like he's been dead for several hours, so we are going to need to torch him. Barry definitely does have awkward uncle humour. Okay, so things we don't need. We don't need that. We won't need that. We won't need that. I just keep putting stuff back and putting things back in. What am I doing? Um, we will need that key, but I think we've nearly done with it. I'm not going to need the shotgun. Um, I'll keep that. We are going to have that. I thought there'd have been some ink ribbon by now, but no. Oh shit, yeah. Obviously we've got a burning in. Completely forgot about that. I'm not happy either. Um, I went into the shop and my favourite coffee wasn't in. I went to Asda earlier on, my favourite coffee wasn't available. So I had to make do with some second grade coffee, which is okay, but not as good as what I normally have. Uh, so I'm going to get the light uh, and the fuel canteen. I'm hoping that counts. I just thought then, because I left just as the animation was going off. Does that count? I hope it does. If not, that's really shit. Yeah, 
he's gone. Oh, he was just hanging about there. He used a lockpick. Excellent. Um, I believe it's, uh, it depends on the difficulty that you're playing, how long the zombies take to get up. Okay, that's a battery pack. We'll take that. That's another, um, another, uh, another sort of fence item. So I'm going to take that ink ribbon because I know we were quite, still plenty of kerosene left in that as well. I shouldn't need to burn any more, but I'll just keep, keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, it depends on which difficulty you play on, um, as to how long they actually take to get up. Uh, he's going up the stairs. He, he's really loving going up the stairs, that guy. I'm just going to bang that back in the item box. Again, we're not going through speed run, so I'd rather, uh, rather do things properly. Equip that there. We will save um, once we've got a couple of bits. Um, we're doing okay at the moment though. Oh, hello again. Yeah, he just, he's really not bothered about me, is he? Um, yeah, I think it depends. An emblem of armor. Okay, so we can't do anything with that yet. We need to go get this armor key. Um, what is useful on this part? Wait for him to pick a side and then we walk around him. Right, so, um, so we need to go get this armor kit. So the best way to do that is to we won't need that for now. I remember how this one works a bit better. Oh, he scared me. So, come on. Come on, you need to do a lunge, you need to do a lunge. Oh, shit. Right, getting both on the stairs. Lads on tour. There we go. So unlocked it. Yes, best way to get this key is to go through here. And then you'll see that way. And now we're in that hallway that we were in before, which is where we need to go back from. And we're about to encounter our first crimson head. And there we go. And look how quick he is. Luckily, we don't have to deal with him there. Because we are going straight in here. And we're going to take this key. Will you take the mansion key? Of course I am. Oh no. It appears that we have uh, set up some sort of death trap there. Let's put the imitation key that we got into that holder instead. Ah, oh, look. It's like magic. door back here. I don't think we can enter that one yet though. Yeah, it's locked. Emblem of a helmet, which we don't get a helmet key until quite late on in the game. Um, so yeah, we've got another key and let's have a look at what key that is. Oh look, it's the armour key. It's the one that we needed. So that's fantastic. So now It's time to run past Crimson Head. Okay, you're gonna be nice to me, Mr. Crimson Head. Oh, yes, that is how you do it. And you run past this idiot. And if you just heard that door opening, that means another zombie has just joined us from the top of the stairs, which is fine. One of, the, one of the things about this part is you can kite them up onto the stairs and that's fine. Oh shit, I need to go back. I need to go back. 
Yep, some of the zombies do. Not in every situation, but yeah, some of the zombies can open doors, so it is is a bit of a uh, can be a bit nerve wracking that sometimes. Oh shit! Okay, was not expecting him to be here. Okay. need to leave because I need to get something from the box because I was really stupid and forgot to get it from the box Aha, and we can run past him so that's fine but as you can see he's not obsessed with the stairs anymore he's obsessed with that corridor and that makes him a bit more dangerous if I'm honest um, there are two guys up there now uh, which will make it a bit more tricky to run around yeah, so we need a chemical to use on plants because we are about to use a chemical on a plant. Okay, let him come. Pick a side, mate. Yeah, and once he picks a side, run past him. I think this is possibly the scariest section of the game. You can see that guy hammering at the wall. Okay, so we can see that there's that plant there. We are going to use that. And it gives you a choice between red and green. Uh, as you can see, if you look, actually look at the environment, the green pipe is all over those herbs there, which you don't want to ruin because then you won't be able to use the herbs. So we want red. Pump the water. Which way will you turn it? Red. And we've killed the plant. That, that puzzle was actually in the original game. Um, although in the original game, it does, uh, it is slightly different. I've seen this one. There's only green herbs, no red herbs. That's fine, because as we established already, put together some greens. I'll leave those other two greens there. And I should have taken with me. No, I won't take them with me because there's something else that I'm going to need. And here is a bit that will make your button absolutely dribble the first time you play this game. Luckily, I've played this game a few times, so my bum is not We'll go in here. And we'll pick up this handgun magazine. And the Keeper's Diary. Now this is a very famous file. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. Looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5am, Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just know something around this would have happened. I knew something like this would have happened. 
those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. When I went to the infirmary because my back is swollen and feels itchy, they put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. We were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realised some of them had escaped. Maybe this was their way of getting back at me for not feeding them for the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumours going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itching. I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched a swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19, 1998. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. And let's get ready. Oh, that was stupid. See, in the original game, there are shotgun shells in there. But in this one, there aren't. So it wasn't worth me. I unlocked it. Okay, so I need this guy to make a lunge. If you want to make a lunge, yep, yeah, that's fine. sword key there's no further use for this key discard it once again i always say this but how do you know how do you know you've never been to this mansion before but so how do you know that that key does not need to be used ever again we've got a defense item there and i'm sure there were some handgun bullets somewhere nope that will get back up again though at some point, that zombie. Unless they... No, I do remember them. there have been some handgun bullets in this area. Unless I'm mistaken. But that's locked from the other side. zombie. If only I had a table to run around so in which I could kite the zombie. Oh wait, I do. But we've made room in our inventory. He's stupid. And as you can hear, they're now banging on that door. Which means that if you spend too long in that corridor, they will actually make their way out of it. What we want to do is pick up this jewel, which we will do. This, that area is absolutely crawling now. Absolutely crawling with zombies. But what we want to do is use this blue gem. 
way for this tiger statue. And we get some shotgun shells, which is useful. Okay, we've got a bit of inventory space, so I am going to take this ink ribbon as well, because it is always good to have ink ribbons. I miss the ink ribbon system as well. Um, I, I think the ink ribbon system was definitely, even though you had more than enough, it just made you really think about what you were doing. use that to get a map of the area but we don't need that so yeah come on in ugly a little note there. Oh, we've been left some treats. I think it was an open barrier. We will read it in a bit. But that is lovely. That is just... How thoughtful is that? We'll put this mask in here. Put the ink ribbon with the other ink ribbons. I'm going to play on the edge and not take any healing items with me. First aid spray, we'll take that. We will take the incendiary shells. And I feel like because we've been playing for an hour, we probably should save. Do not want to be hoisted in my own petard. So we'll save. Because yeah, at the moment, obviously, it doesn't look like we've made a lot of progress, but we are about to make. Hell of a lot of progress now. So that note said, I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. You didn't leave us bullets, Barry. You left us incendiary rounds. Like, oh, that's another thing. If you shoot a zombie with an incendiary round, it uh, also stops them from coming back as a crimson head because obviously the armor key. So we'll go in here actually. And the red herb, which we might take. Oh I know where there's a lone green herb actually, so I might take that and it's quite close by. Nothing in the drawers. Will you take the first aid box? Of course I will. 
ink ribbon. We'll leave that for now because we have got quite a lot of ink ribbon. The footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. And here's where your secrets are. I don't know if there's like anything else. So we examine. Nothing unusual. Oh, you have to do it like that. And I've got another full heal. So we're doing exceptionally well on healing items at the moment. We might as well pick up that red herb since we've got the green herb in our inventory now. Well, why did I say no? Use the lockpick. So if you were playing as Chris, you'd need a small key. Um, actually, that's a thing, because the audio wasn't... Oh, cut scene. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Research is will. The letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off, and the rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I have tried to survive, only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I'm infected. There is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand, please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. Yeah, Don't sound too bothered then. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. to take the bee specimen, yep, assorted fishing laws. Oh, it's like, it smells like something lived there. Will you take the lure of a bee? Move into the specimen, there's a switch underneath, press it, no, not yet. Will you take the fish off? Okay, lure with a B and a B specimen. No. Lure with a B with a fishing lars. Don't press that yet because that will go through the trap. Put that there. Now I'll press it. Uh, what uh, uh, So I don't know how that magic bee came back to life. But it did. to go downstairs again and ditch a few bits. <sighs> this certainly isn't the quickest way to do things. Um, it's been a long time since I played this so I don't have the sort of speed running order of things down or anything like that anymore. It's been a good few years but I have played it enough that I sort of know what I'm doing to, to an extent. Put the healing items back. Uh, 
and let's run past this idiot again. Let's uh, stay frosty in this corridor. So obviously, we know we've got two to deal with. Use the key. Oh, he nearly got me then. You nearly got me, didn't you? But you didn't. Because I am better than you. Okay, so this is a push the statues puzzle. I can't remember the order in which you push them now. Um, is it that one and that one? I know that pushing some of them, maybe the one pop out. Yes, yeah, so that's when that one pop back out again. Right, that's made them pop out, but we know that if we push this one, it makes that one go back in. Whoa, to do so we disturb my sleep. There's a switch there where you push it. Yep. So if we hadn't done that, you'd get poison gas to fill the room. But because we did it, it worked. Mysterious box. Will you take the jewellery box? Yes, I will. Let's examine that. Jewellery box. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes, I will. There's a design of a sun and moon on the plate. It says sunshine will awake me. All right. So. Appears as if you failed. Okay then. Right, so I think I need to do the two hearts. Because that's the sun. Yep, there we go. And there's a mask inside. It's a death mask without eyes, mouth, or nose. Excellent, just what I wanted. He's behind me there. Use the armor key. The armor key's getting about. We're about to find someone here. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Okay, so now we've got a little timer. Um, Obviously the game doesn't show you a timer, but there is a timer nonetheless. I can't remember actually how long you have to do this. So we're going to go back here. Because we need to get back to the save room. Um, that was down those stairs. So we're going to go back here. Oh shit! He was on the other side before. Oh fuck me. It changed where he was. That's annoying. That's a waste of a item. There we go. He's fucked up there. He's hanging out back there. And we've got the serum. 
we shall put that death mask in here and we'll have a bit of a rub right let's kite him down the, up the stairs oh, I'll let him do that that's quick away. Right, so he's right outside that door now. Which is weird, because he did used to be on that side, but I think it must be that once you move the uh, statue, that, that happens. So yeah, I said all of this before, but... Obviously, I wasn't actually capturing my voice. Uh, so this is a reading of the original Resident Evil, made all the way back in 1998. Uh, this came out in 2002, I believe. Not no, sorry, the original Resident Evil came out in 1996. Uh, so this came back out in uh, 2002. So six years between the original and the remake, which doesn't seem like a lot of time. Uh, we've Here, made Richard, it back in time for him. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's gonna make it. Okay, so what I want to do now is get rid of the armor key and get something else as well. Yeah, Richard is a bit of a drama queen. But you do get something very useful off Richard, I believe. Um, because we've saved him, we'll actually get his shotgun later on with the chair. Will be interesting. Use the armor key. Ah, so I've still got more uses of the armor key then. Think of what else I could use the armor key. But what we want to do is come out here. Okay, so that is. Forrest from I think he was one of the Bravo team members so yeah um, so he's dead obviously um, now I can actually go past here and go to the end of this corridor and there are a couple of herbs there which uh, is a full heal but I don't really need it now and if I do that it triggers a cutscene where Forrest gets back and he comes after me and Forrest is a crimson head basically when he, when he spawns so it's just not worth it. Okay, so we've got that. And we're about to have a boss fight. Sorry, so I've got. Uh, I'll leave this for now. Okay, so there's that guy there. It's locked. Emblem of a shield, right? So I need a different lock. <laughs> different key, even. Not a different lock. Okay, so let's just think about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need 
my lighter. Come on. Oh my god, he didn't even touch me. Oh, he did go. Right, I've definitely got at least one um, item left still, so that's fine. But yeah, I'll need to come back here with my lighter. Get this chode to come up the stairs. Oh, he hit me with that. That's me. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Literally fine. We'll stash that. What masks have we got? We've got one, two, three, two death masks. I think I do anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I should take the light with me. So that is all I need. Wait for him to come up these stairs. And we have got a handgun magazine, which is really useful. Push that the other way. And then we want to use our lighter to light these candles. What we need to do is try and keep them both around this side of the table. To run in, get this musical scar. Oh, and that was that really didn't work out well. But we didn't take a hit, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, we've got enough healing items that I can take a few hits now, anyways. Um, but we have uh, we have exhausted those now, so we will have to be a bit more careful. But we do need the musical scar. Because we need to get something else. We need to get another key. And that key is part of a puzzle. And that puzzle is down these stairs. Make sure that M one of a helmet, so yeah, we'll need a helmet, key for that one. So we cut through the dining room. I 
and we want to take the emblem. And we've got this guy blocking the way, so we do need to wait for him to give a bit of a lunge. Lunge. Yeah, and there we go, that's what we want. Use the armor key. Wow, we're getting some use out of that armor key, definitely. I actually thought that would be the last armor key uh, door, but obviously not. Then we push this bookcase. And we found some, well, we found a musical score. So let's examine that. So we've got some part of a musical score there. And now we've got sheet music. And we've got piano here. And anyone wondering what we need to do? Luckily, at least one protagonist in every Resident Evil game is an accomplished musician. Sorry about the uh, vibration there, that was my pad on the table. Okay, so we've got a couple of things. Ah, Trevor's diary. 11 days, sorry, November 24th, 1967. 11 days have passed since arriving on the estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now, it's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. November 26th, 1967. How can I be so careless? I lost my favourite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be, a much ha now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalised just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vi vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in lab coat said something like, most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th, 1967. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I had to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. And that is the caveat of designing a mansion that is extremely complicated. Oh no, it looks like I'm trapped. Unless we have something that we can put in this place. Obviously with this one, I'm much more familiar with the puzzles. Oh, commemorating the completion of the mansion. Yeah, so that was uh, George Trevor's diary. George Trevor being the architect of the Spencer Mansion, the mansion that we're in now in this game. And as the game goes on, you will learn that some very bad things happened to George and his family. But George, uh, seems to be some sort of crazy genius for designing such strange traps and treasures. Okay, so that's where right there. So now we need to look at this painting and that'll tell us the, give us the um, answer to this clue, to this riddle. So a picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of the knight, while the long sword has been pierced through the head of the other. When two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Turn which gear? The large gear. Turn it in which direction? Right. Keep turning. Turn the large gear. Turn it right. 
I believe. Yep, that's why. It's because we've got the uh, short sword going through the uh, breast of one person and a long sword going through the head of the other person. So there you go. And now we have the mansion key. Excellent. And that is the shield key, which um, we actually only need once, I believe. <laughs> so Django's just put in the uh, chat, what do you do for a living, George? Well, I design overly complex and elaborate security systems for evil supervillains. Locks that have to be opened by stabbing swords into statues, that sort of thing. Okay, so we need to come back up here. And we are about to meet. Yawn. No further use for it. Again, how do you know, Jill? But whatever. Okay. The thing is, I was expecting some shotgun shells on that shelf, but that is the original. So we're about to see Yawn, the giant snake. And how fast boss fight, effectively. But because we say Richard, he will distract it slightly. Not that we need it, because we don't actually need to fight you We're going to take the damage. And we're going to run around. And get back out. So we do not actually need to fight him. No! I, mean, I think Richard's just died. So we're not getting Richard's gun, but that's fine because it, it's not really that much better than the normal shotgun that you get anyway. That's Richard's a fool. Right, so we have nearly got. Oh, look, there's a zombie in here now. And that zombie does break through. In fact, ooh, I don't know. Cause I've got a mind to kill him, but I feel like if I kill him and he comes back as a crimson head, I don't have to come back as a crimson head if you uh, don't want past them. Oh, oh that was stupid. Right, so Jill has took a bit of a bite. Nothing we can't handle. Currently on orange caution. Which is okay. Do you know where there's a green herb though? There's a green herb in this room. That's a helmet lock. Right, so we're on yellow caution, which isn't the best, but we can live with that. Pop 
poor Richard. We we definitely did him dirty, but what can I say? Just what is the point of me wasting resources fighting a giant snake that I don't need to fight? Oh, he really needs to get that sorted out. Okay, so we are going to need first aid spray, a shotgun, shotgun shells, a death mask, a death mask. And because I'm not stupid, I am going to save here as well. to come out here Donald looks like it's gonna fall apart go for anywhere yep yeah, that's fine you, so you can only use that door a finite amount of times but we're at a point where I think this is like the last time we're gonna need to use it or one of the last right that's the last use of the armor key get rid of that so we've made some space as well and we're gonna get the last one now Look at this painting. Lisa, protected by three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. Shall we fuck? Not right now. Right, so green crown, purple necklace, orange bracelet. Picture of a valiant of a valiant wearing a bracelet. Set in yellow. Switch here. Picture of the Valiant is turned green. That's yellow. Right, so we need the bracelet to be orange. So I think there's another painting of the Valiant over here. Yep. Yeah. Wait, press it. Yep, yeah, and that's made that orange. Confirm it's meant to be one orange because I think that's how this puzzle works. Yep, that's right. Um, Sage wearing a necklace, certain red thin glass. That's made that purple, which is what it needs to be. And then a picture of a saint wearing whatever is in yellow, and that's made that green. So we've got a purple, orange, green. Now we'll be able to push that button because if we pushed it before then. We would get fucked, basically. And we would get fucked in the sense that... We take the death mask, yes. Yeah, we'd be getting buggered because... We've got a real nice shortcut here, by the way, as well. Um, the crows would come out and peck us to death. Um, well... Luckily, as well, this area is emptied out, which means I can pick up these shotgun shells. So we've got quite a few here. Yeah, so you can only load six in the shotgun. Because in a lot of Resident Evil shotguns, it's actually seven that you can use. And we're going to come up to what can technically be classed as our first proper boss, even though it's not really a boss. It's Well, you'll see what it is in a moment. Right, that one's got no, I can see just from the background here that that's got no eyes, no nose, no mouth, so we will use that one. That one's got no eyes, use that one. No 
so we need on that one. And let's get ready for this. There's some more shells next to it. And here we go, there's a crimson head. Right, and he's dead. Okay, so that wasn't actually <laughs> as difficult as I remember it been. He actually went down like a bit of a chump. Something here. Will you take the stone and metal object? Yes, I will. There's nothing else here. So that was a bit easier than I thought it was going to be actually, um, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I actually think he got a hit on me, I thought it was going to take my shotgun shells as well. to come back here now. Now that we've got our stone and metal object. And you can hear a dog coming towards me, which isn't good, but we're gonna be fucking off anyway. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Gonna have to try harder than that fighter. Okay, we've got a first aid spray. Oh, we've got a battery pack as well. Pick that battery pack up. We'll pick the first aid spray up. I think if we got this side entrance first. So that's uh, Lisa Trevor. Oh, that's annoying. So I already know the answer to this puzzle. Basically, there's two two dog statues, and one of them's got a face east, and one of them's got a face. Oh, it's really hard to get it spot on. One of them's got a face west. They've got basically got to be looking at each other. There's a switch here for a source. Got it. Nope, we will not press the switch any further. Hopefully to get to the west. both got to look away. One moment. We'll actually we'll actually do the puzzle properly instead of me trying to remember it from like three years ago. The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Maybe they need to be looking away actually. So that 
one needs to be looking east. Uh, does it need to be looking south? Nope, so it needs to be looking north. Right, fair time to charm. Right. That one's facing away. And then I think the other one needs to be facing away as well. Yep, yeah, there we go. I'm about to come up against possibly the most spooky thing. Alright then. Those crows look like you. About to see Lisa Trevor. Lisa Trevor's story is absolutely tragic. At the same time, though, Lisa Trevor is pretty fucking terrifying. Um, originally, Lisa wasn't in the 1996 release of the game, but uh, they did actually put her into this version and it just gave it a bit more of a subplot, fleshed it out a bit and just see if there was anything to pick up around here. I sort of remember there been like some sort of hairball or something, maybe, maybe not. Okay. To be honest, there isn't a lot that needs to be said for it. Family picture is a journal left by somebody. 19. Daddy attached first, mom attached second. Inside, red and slimy, white hard. Not true, mom, where? Don't know, dad found mum again. When attached, mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. For mom, where? I miss you. Got an item box here. Put them away, put them away. Yeah, Lisa is unkillable. Like literally. She you like you can I, I think you can down her with, by using a lot of ammo, but you you are effectively wasting your ammo by doing that, so no point in killing Lisa. Oh, there goes your undies. So Lisa knocked you out. And Lisa hits really fucking hard. Like, really hard. Like, Lisa can take you from fine to orange caution in one hit sometimes if, if she gets you. Enough. Lisa looks absolutely Oh, see, she caught me there. Oh, I need to get past that. Oh no, you joking. Oh no. Okay, we, we didn't lose too much. <laughs> we didn't lose too much progress because we uh, only. Uh, we uh, last saved before we went and got that emblem so yeah it is coming up to five so i think i'll <laughs> i think we'll call it a day there and uh we will uh resume this at 3 p.m tomorrow 
But uh, thanks for watching the first part of Resident Evil Remake HD Remaster. Any more words in that title? No. Um, and hopefully we won't die next time from Lisa hitting us. What I should have done there, I should have just ran past her instead of getting on the stairs. Because when I was on the stairs, there was just no way of me getting past her, basically. Because she's not like a zombie where after the attack wind up, you can sort of like squeeze past her. And so, yeah, she fucking hits hard. But yeah, we will um, we'll definitely get past Lisa in the next episode. But until then, bye for now.